What's going on guys? Original Rai Guy here, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing six of the 2021 NASCAR diecasts from Lionel. In today's lineup, we have Denny Hamlin, number 11, Kyle Busch in the 18, Bubba Wallace in the 23, Ryan Blaney in the 12, Kevin Harvick in the 4, and Christopher Bell in the 20. So, the first one we're looking at today is the 11 of Denny Hamlin. As you see, oh, we look at the box, it has the Joe Gibbs Racing logo with its 30-year anniversary seal. And it says it's an, it says on the back it's an action racing collectible sidecast, limited edition adult collectible. And on top it shows the seal of approval. This is officially licensed. And on the bottom it says... It's an adult collectible, like it says on the top. So, we're going to take it out of the box now. Now, it's already out of the box. Let's have a closer look at the die cast. So, you see it's a, not the FedEx livery, but it's his offer pad livery. This one, unlike the Ricky Stennis Jr. die cast I reviewed, had the name and manufacturer on the, the windows. He's got a really nice, nice orange. It's going to white. See, we have the FedEx logos. So the other sponsors like Sherwin Williams. Don't know what yeah, one is on the left. And Maxwell's says it shows its official NASCAR. It would be NASCAR Cup logo. Then there's four clips haircuts. You got the plastic Goodyear Eagle tires. And if you see there, it says that it's a Toyota Camry. So the same thing on the side, on the back, still got the Alpha Pad logo. And on the bottom is you still see like all the pipes, all the engine part, which is totally different than the new next gen ones because they have like a a flat bottom. You see all the details there made by Lionel made in China. Overall, I think this diecast was pretty nice. The next one we're reviewing is number 18 of Kyle Busch. Still see the Joe Gibbs Racing 30 Years logo. So, but this one's not just an animal clipable. It says that's ages four and up. So got the. Action Racing Collectibles logo, just the same thing as the other one. Still, also official license product. And this one actually just says it's not suitable for children 36 months and under. It was small parts, unlike the other ones. Where, well, like some of the other ones, where they're considered adult collectibles. So, we're going to take it out of the box. As we look at the diecast itself, we take it out of the box. See, has the Interstate Burries logo, the M&M's logo, the Ream logo, still the plastic Goodyear tires, the Joe Gibbs 30 Years logo. There's also a Toyota Camry. Still got the same chassis. Still got Cobb and Cobb Bush right on the top and the back. And this one says, um... Outrageously dependable. Sad, sorry for the poor camera angle. And on, she still got the 18 in the middle rather than the current position with the new next gens. And overall, I believe this, I guess, is a pretty cool one. Kind of gives the old Bobby Labonte feel with a modern twist. Overall, I kind of like it. The next one we're looking at today is the 23 of Bubba Wallace. As we look at the box, instead of a maroon stripe, it's a red stripe. Got the 2311 logo, still says age four nubs. Got the official license, shows all the stuff on the side. See a barcode there with the NASCAR logo. Still same thing as the Kyle Busch car. And yeah, well, pretty cool. 
So we're gonna take it out of the box. Looking at the die cast itself, we take it out of the plastic thing. Got the classic 23 logo, maybe 23 number. Got DoorDash, Dr. Pepper, McDonald's corn arches. You can see some yellow stripes on the top. That's Bubba Wallace's car on the front and back. See, it gets pretty classic with been going. Says it's another Toyota Camry. The NASCAR Cup logo. Got back. Got Quality Sportswear, Root Insurance on the left rear. And got the same chassis as the previous ones and plastic Goodyear tires. Overall, this looks pretty cool as well. I hope they keep it up for 2023. The next one we're looking at today is the number 12 of Ryan Blaney. See, it has the Team Penske logo on the front. It says it's for ages 4 and up. Got the Action Racing logo. Got, it says it's an official licensed product by NASCAR. It says it's still not suitable if they're 36 months or under. The barcode, the NASCAR logo. And still, the choice of champions according to this slogan on the box. Speaking of the box, let's take it out. Looking at the die cast itself, we take it out of the plastic packaging. Got the body armor logo, the um, a sample of some of the body armor drinks because it's like a sport drink company. It says this is a Ford Mustang, driven by Ryan Blaney. Got the body armor logo back. Got the Menards logo because some races he's sponsored by Menards. Got the Dex Imaging logo, which I can't see. There's also advanced outputs. Sorry for the terrible camera because I shot this off my iPhone like all my other videos. I have an Astro Cup logo. I just got to back it up a little. And you got the plastic chassis. But the strange thing is, is with the back. Because this base rear wing is a lot taller than like let's say... This one of Bubba Wallace. Go look side by side. Bubba Wallace is a little shorter than Ryan Blaze. Maybe this might have been a manufacturing error. Maybe this was intentional. I don't know. Overall, except for that, I kind of like it as well. It's pretty cool. So, the next one we're looking at today is the number four of Kevin Harvick. Looking at the box is the Stuart Haas Racing logo, Kevin Harvick car, and for Action Racing, it's an, our NASCAR official election product for ages four and up. Same thing, da 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 da. So let's take it out of the box. As we take it out of the box, let's take a look at the diecast itself. Got the old number four, the Mobile One livery. Even has some flame pattern on it, which that is pretty cool. Got his other sponsors like Jim Johns and Hunt Brothers Pizza. Got the 3M, the Lincoln Welders, and the Sunoco logos on the side. This is also yet another Ford Mustang. Sal and the Haas Twin logo, since it's Stuart Haas, driven by Kevin Horvick. Sally, there's no Bush logo since I, for my championship, I'm not allowed to have any alcohol advertising. This is also a plastic chassis. And Sally Bush is alcohol, and I can't have that on my channel. Overall, I like it, even without the alcohol advertising. And the last one we're reviewing today is the number 20 of Christopher Bell. This one is. Another limited edition adult collectible with the Joe Gibbs Racing logo. Another action racing car with the official licensed product. Da, 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 da. So, not 36 months, but it's an adult collectible. Since I'm an adult right now, I'm allowed to have this. So, let's take it out of the box. No time to lose. Looking at the die cast itself, we take it out of the plastic packaging, and you see that scratch right there. That was intentional because this is a raced version from the Daytona Road Course race back in 2021. 
You can see some stents there from all of the contacts, like the rough and tumble version of NASCAR. It's got a Toyota Camry. Again, it's got the Ream logo, got the Rude Interstate Batteries, got the some other logos that are a little too small right there. Showing the website Ream.com. It says this is driven by Christopher Bell. And Ream is like the new design of comfort on the back near the rear wing. Have some more logos. It's another plastic chassis. But it doesn't matter. At least this is a really good one. Shows a lot of like detail with the damage from when it went to Victory Lane at Daytona. It's pretty unique. I kind of like it. That is all for this video. Please remember to like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And comment about what you liked. I'll see you all in the next video.